Oh, I told myself I wasn't going to get it. I really thought I wasn't going to get it, but it was too hard to resist. Today, I got the new GoPro Hero 7. Look at that, baby. Um, so, today I'm going to do an unboxing and I'm going to tell you why I bought this GoPro and why it dominates any other GoPro out there. So, let's get into it. Woo! GoPro Hero 7. Oh, this thing is just packed full of new features. GoPro has definitely stepped up their game. Um, today I'm going to open her up, see what we got, and I've also got two other previous GoPros. This one's actually my mum's. This is a Hero 5, and this is my previous one that I used to have, which is the Hero 6. So we're going to compare these and sort of See what has changed um, in the newer GoPro. But yeah, let's jump into it, guys. Let's jump into unboxing the Hero 7. Okay, so one thing I noticed, they added a little tag. Look at that. Whoop. To make it easier to open the box. Get on your GoPro, smart thinking. Instead of tearing it open, I could just pull it straight out like that. Um, so one big difference that GoPro actually did, this is the Hero 7 Black, they actually made the GoPro Black. So here are the Hero 5 and 6, and these are actually like a grey colour, but for some reason these are the black editions. But with the 7, they actually made it black for once, so yeah, good on you. And they even made it in big bold writing, Hero seven so it's easy to know what camera it is like like I actually find these hard to tell apart because they only got a little tiny little tiny name on the side of what camera it is uh, that's just another plus side right let's dig in can I turn it on or do I need the battery for it I need the battery for it <laughs> All right, so I see that GoPro is kept with the same original case, which um, which I actually really love. So all it is is just a pull-off tab, comes out, just like that. So everything actually looks fairly similar um, compared to the Hero 6 and Hero 5. All the little panels are still in the same spot, they look the same. Um, we'll chuck the battery in so I can turn it on. I'm excited! <laughs> okay, so I see a lot of things on the um, GoPro Hero 7 are exactly the same as the 5 and 6. So they've kept the touch screen. They've kept the um, touch screen on the 7, but they've sort of changed the menus up a bit. Um, they've got a little bit different features and it actually seems a little bit easier to access. Um, all your video settings compared to the 5 and 6. So the main difference is um, first on the 5. This one could only shoot 4K 30 frames per second and 2.7K 60 frames. It could also shoot 120 frames in 180p and 240 frames in 720p. But then GoPro Hero 6 stepped it up a bit and you can actually record this in 4K 60 frames per second. Um, and in 2.7K, 120 frames, and 180p, you can shoot 240 frames. So this was why I wanted the Hero 6 at the time, because this just looked like it had amazing slow motion. Like, it was so good. Um, and I was like, I want that GoPro. I want that GoPro. <laughs> and, yep, now with the Hero 7, that is exactly like the Hero 6. So they've included the 4K 60 frames still, um, 120 frames with 2.7K and 240 frames with the 180p, so which is good. Uh, photo quality amongst them all, all still the same, 12 megapixels. Another thing, video bit rate. These were rated at 60 megabytes a second, the Hero 5 and 6. Um, 
But the 7 actually stepped up and it is 78 megabytes a second, which means it's a lot faster processing the video and it'll just be all around better quality. Um, and they've also all got touch screen, so nothing has changed from that, which is good. And these are all still waterproof without the housing. So it, was, it started off after the 4. So the 4 was the one most previous one that had, you actually had to get the like full housing to make the GoPro waterproof. But I'm just so happy they've actually stuck with this because it just makes it so easy and you can easily access the, oops, what do I do? You can easily access the touch screen on the back. Another same feature is voice control. So you can say GoPro on, GoPro off. Um, I don't know actually all the other ones are, but there's a lot of different voice control commands. So I really want to look into that. Um, this one also has the GP1 chip, same as the Hero 6, which the Hero 5 did not have. So that sort of chip is just like a, it's like a faster processor for the GoPro so we can keep up with all the high frame rates and the high quality um, video. But the number one reason why I bought the Hero 7 is because the stabilization is amazing. Like GoPro actually claim that the Hero 7 Black has the best in-camera stabilization ever. Like, like this is, even on the box, it says gimbal-like. So I've seen so many videos of it already and people are running, like running handheld with this thing or running with a chest mount. I don't know how it does it, but it literally does look like it's gimbal mount. But it's just so close to gimbal-like, it is just mind-blowing. So the Hero 5 was the first GoPro to have stabilization. It was all right, but yeah, it was the first time they'd put stabilization in the GoPro, so it was just a start off. And the Hero 6, I actually thought the Hero 6 stabilization was good. I was like, wow, this is actually pretty impressive. Um, so this had advanced stabilization. And then, the Hero 7 just stepped it up, whole new level, and they had hyper smooth stabilization, which is, yes, as I said, gimbal like stabilization. The GoPro, good on you, you really stepped up your game there. When I actually got the Hero 6 Black, I was a little bit disappointed at the start because um, there, are, there was a few issues, like straight off the bat when I bought it. Over time, they did actually fix it a bit better um, with all the new updates, but still to this day, I think it is having little issues. Um, but I really hope it is not the same deal with the Hero 7 Black, because the 5 and 6, there's just been so many problems like when it first got released. So please guys, please let the Hero 7 Black just be good, just straight out of the box, perfect. So one of the main biggest advantages that the Hero 7 Black has over all the other GoPros? Well, as I've recently said, the stabilization is just awesome. Um, it is no need for a gimbal, no need to lug around that. Oh, I suppose the other gimbal wasn't even that big, but just to have this in your hand, walking along, running, and have it look super smooth, it is one huge advantage. Another main big feature in this GoPro is a stabilized time lapse. Like I've never seen this in any other camera ever. Um, essentially, it's like a hyperlapse. So I have seen a hyperlapse in like previous YouTube videos, and I really wanted to try it out one day, but it just seems very hard um, to do it with like a normal camera, like my GH5, and it just takes a long time to do it. Like. It would take like an hour to do, I don't know, like a 10 second hyperlapse. But with this, it, it just, it's all built into the camera. So I can put it into the time lapse. Oh no, sorry. I can put it into the time warp mode. That is what it's called. So I can put it into the time warp mode, just walk along, holding it by hand, and it will all do it in camera. I don't know how but they have done it. So live stream, this also has live stream built into it, um, which is totally different to any other GoPro that have not done that before. Um, so essentially I can be filming anywhere around the world and I can upload it straight to Facebook 
um, live so they can see what I'm doing there and then, which is pretty cool, but I'm not a big live stream fan, so I might use it down the track. So the Hero 7 has also upped its game in photography. Um, they got this new feature called Super Photo. So essentially that is just, it's like a HDR, HDR image. So they're getting several um, different exposed images and processing it into one sort of super photo in, in the GoPro. So the audio on this is apparently way better, which is really, really good because if I could use this as an awesome stabilizer vlogging camera, like just literally put it in my pocket, what bam, I'm vlogging. And the audio is good. That, that's a game changer for me. Um, so the Hero 6 Black, it did have decent audio, but from what I've seen in other previous videos, the audio has definitely stepped up in the 7. But wait, there's more. They've also chucked in portrait mode, so I can tilt my camera as a portrait, and I can take photos like that, or I could even do videos like that. So this is really good, actually, for Instagram TV. Um, Seeming they have they have their new portrait-based uh, video platform. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably actually test that out in the truck as well. And a photo timer, like a good old-fashioned photo timer that I've chucked in as well. The Hero 5 and 6, they didn't have it, but now whenever you want to take a photo, you can just place it wherever, um, set a timer on it, counting down from 3 or 5, or, and boom, just takes the photo. So that's also another good little feature. And the last big change that they made on this is a GPS performance stickers. So you could be taking a video, and I think when you play it back um, on the GoPro app, you can add stickers onto that video to track your speed or to track your elevation of where you are. Um, so yeah, that's, that's something totally new for this and I'm also really keen to check that out. So there you go guys, that is the new Hero 7 Black. Like, so many features, 12 megapixel, 40K, 60 frames, waterproof to 10 meters, Amazing slow motion, hyper smooth, live streaming, GPS. It's got everything, guys. It is. This GoPro has just stepped up its game in the GoPro industry, and I really cannot wait to try it. Also, be sure to be following my videos next week, guys, because I'll be testing out the Hero 7, and I'll also be testing that compared to the Hero 5 and the Hero 6, but I've got a little construction that I'm gonna make up. So I'm gonna mount it on here. Look at that. <laughs> that is gonna be so good. And I'm gonna compare them all and see how it goes. So be ready for that video next week, guys. Um, anyways, in the meantime, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you guys have a Hero 7 Black, let me know what you think about it. Um, is there any sort of issues with it that you have been having or is it just amazing and is the stabilization amazing? So that's it guys. I hope you have a good day. I will see you next week and remember, follow your dreams and escape your comfort zone. Woo!